Hey Roy, so tell me about what your hopes and dreams are for 2017. Well, these are really turbulent times and challenging times, but you know, turn a problem upside down, you've got an opportunity. Mm. And you know, what the situation demands is you know, prophetic imagination, apostolic courage, mm. and you know, inspiring new initiatives and fresh mm. expressions mm. and ways of living out the gospel in a changing, changing world. Yeah, got to start thinking outside the box, haven't we? Absolutely. Big time. And we, that shouldn't be a problem for us as Baptists. No, we're nonconformists, we're people of the gospel, people of the word, people of the spirit. We should be thinking out of the box all the time. Yeah, and we're radical people, aren't we? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, rediscover our roots and actually we'll be able to not only be bearers of God, good, God's good news, but transforming mm. people in society. Yeah. Well, that makes me think about my hope for next okay. year, which is um, this, this vision of all our churches being beacons of hope uh, for a new year. I mean, wouldn't it just be fantastic if every single one of our churches were, were just on fire for the Lord, uh, living out their faith, uh, sharing Jesus in their communities in whatever that looks like, um, being beacons of hope uh, in these uncertain times and uh, speaking out to our culture and to our world in the midst of all these different pressures and all these different things that are yeah, going on. And beacons lighten mm. the darkness yeah. and make a difference. And yeah. that's what we're called to do, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. great. Yeah. So with this new year, new opportunity? Yeah, I'm quite excited, but we've got a lot of challenges ahead. We certainly have.